Welcome back. After Okia Omtata kupeleka kesi pale a kokoti about finance bill and the way it was executed it is a win for him high court has suspended finance bill 2023 till 7th of july remember he kesi ni okia omtata alipeleka pale kotini and ladies and gentlemen this is okia omtata speaking na akielezea kwa nini he finance bill imestopiwa na koti kindly make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel as you listen to okia omtata and the whole thing for doing that that's why you end up with a ballooning borrowing locally they don't tell you what they are going to raise so they at the, at the later stage they tell you we have been unable to raise this money so they are forced to borrow locally and that's how the money how that's how the, the one, one way that are balloon the the public debt is ballooning you may remember there used, there used to be those things there, bit of expenditure that used to be published you don't see them being published anymore so there's a lot of opaqueness on finances of the country and that's what are one of the things who I'm trying to fight and make sure that we get a budget that is transparent when you when you tax me uh 15% on fuel i know that at the end of the year there's an estimate that the government will raise 10 shillings well first of all the housing levy is uh, we, there's no guarantee that we are going to get anything out of it in terms of because i think it's not a tax it's not going to be consolidated fund so it is not guaranteed that it's going to end up anywhere benefiting the public Number two, it violates the Employment Act. Number three, in many ways, it violates the Employment Act in many ways, including there has been no assessment to show that people are earning a third of their salary, and whether it's going to force them to go beyond that. Number three, housing implementation uh, implementation of housing is by is supposed to be done by the county. The county is not the national government. National government only does policy. Number four, the whole concept is upside down. Affordable housing is usually used in terms of public housing, assuming the government says we are going to put up skyscrapers in Kitera, and we are going to fix the rent of a three-bedroom house at five thousand shillings, so that there is accessibility. Affordable housing is about accessing housing; it's not about owning homes. So the whole concept is upside down. They are talking about there is. forcing people to own homes not getting up a mechanism for making rent affordable and as a tool whereby the government can intervene in the market to regulate the, the, the cost of rent in the, in the, in the in the market in the, in the in the housing market so the whole thing is upside down <coughs> further to that there is no fund parliament has not established a fund into which that money will go which means as a levy it should end up in the consolidated fund and in the consolidated fund it is not ring fenced nothing prevents it from being used to pay a loan so it is something that is uh, not thought out then number four, it is taking away property rights and yet article 24 requires that when you're going to deal with, to deal with prop, uh, rights of uh, the bill of rights if you want to limit any right in the bill of rights you must show that it's, uh, it's necessary you must show that there was no other way to do it you must justify it this one have just done it without any justification it's just like the big man wants it therefore it will be done and attach the regulations and then the thing is that the new fund sort of uh, conflicts with those regulations it does not address those regulations that's another point of raised what happens to those regulations if they, if they are putting up this fund So those regulations have a mechanism for housing and and those regulations are are inferior legislation they cannot be the basis upon which you can lay you you uh, superior legislation run you cannot just have superior legislation using regulation you just you justify subsidiary legislation the regulations using acts of parliament so that argument does not hold water to begin with conceptually but most important is that that particular those regulations do not set up a fund and regulations are usually done by the executive when you go to the question of taxing it's only the parliament which can tax not the executive and the taxing power is not cannot be delegated 